So this right here is the Time Warner's website. You are required to get a one cable box. So that's something to keep in mind yourself with Time Warner. So for just their 70 channels, you're looking at 50 bucks a month. Plus you have to get the the box. So 6174 is not bad for just, you know, TV. But there are, you know, like it says down here, other fees. Like broadcast, taxes, and then there's like normally a sport fee. So you're you're looking at like an extra five or seven bucks with that. So still you know, 78 bucks a month is not bad. Now, with WOW, for the the same channels, plus they give you some extra channels, like you get Nick Jr., you get all the hallmarks, um, like mysteries and movies. MTV2, they got on there. So, WOW gives you quite a few extra channels. So... And wow, you know your TV's gonna—it's gonna know when you change the channel if it's a if it's an HD TV. It'll say what channel it is at the top. Mine does anyway. But the only downfall is if you have an old analog TV, you will not get one channel. So keep that in mind with Wow. Now, if you're comparing, so comparing the two, if you got an all digital TV. It just depends on what you're looking for. Wow's a little bit high, but it'll be good. I mean, for the money, Time Warner's probably going to be your best bet if you're just going for TV. And also, if you have an old analog TV, they'll pick up some channels. It's like 50 to 60. But now, if you're going to bundle internet and TV, Time Warner is a little bit pricey compared to Wow. So for Time Warner. You know, you have to get your box. Now, I put in for no modem or anything. So, if you have your own modem and router, that's it's an extra 10 bucks on both of them if you don't have it. But if you do have it, this is what it's going to be about. You're looking at 116 It's $54.99 for the 30 down, 5 up with Time Warner. Now, if we go over to WoW here... You're looking at $64.99, but that's with a contract. So you get 30 down, 5 up. You get a little bit more channels with, with, with WoW. Now, if you don't want the contract, it's about 80 bucks. So, now this does not come with a box. You can, you can add cable boxes if you want. I prefer not to add them because it's just a waste of money. So, between the two... Time Warner, 116. That does come with one HD box because you have to get a box. With WoW, it's 80 bucks without the contract. With the contract, 64. So if you want, if you wanted to add a kill box, you're looking at like another 10 bucks. So you're saving quite a bit between the two uh, if you bundle. So I personally like WoW better. It's just easier to go to the channels. But it's up to you guys. So here's a quick rundown. If you have an old, older TV that doesn't have digital, you probably want Time Warner. Because you'll get about 54 channels analog. But if you have all digital TVs, you know, WoW's pretty good. It's going to show you, you know, the name of the channel when you change the channel. If your TV will show you it. And I, I just like the way it goes in order, the channel lineup for WoW. They give you a few extra channels. Uh, I didn't list all of them, but here's just a few that Time Warner doesn't get with their standard lineup through the wire. Like you get MTV2, Nick Jr., they got a couple extra hallmarks. So, if you're just going with TV only though, Time Warner is a little cheaper. But if you're going with a bundle, WoW is going to be your best bet. So thanks for watching folks.
That is to help us to understand that we are sinners. So guys, I don't know why Time Warners won't do it, but like with WoW here, it'll say like what channel it is as I go through. Now as you can see, WoW, it goes in order. Like there's not a lot of digital like, you know what I mean? It's all just a number. Now these are all digital channels, but they don't have it in that format like Time Warner does where it jumps around a lot. So you see, you'll get a few of these. With Time Warner, there's qu quite a few after you get past a certain point. But with WoW, they keep it simple with just one big number here. Not all the dashes you have to remember. See, like, I hate when they have all these. So you have to remember the dashes for a certain channel. But WoW doesn't have a lot of them, so. That's why I like WoW a lot, for example. Genetic service available directly to you. Fifteen minutes. 
you sell these things to the Pentagon? Ultimately, then just building up my muscles and getting my heart going. So I... I know that. That's why I got Malmo coming. Bye. Tai Chi. You also get a Tai Chi wall calendar. Your favorite grocery items. Office and carted off several boxes of. And team up and battle it out for the coveted. Orange. Have you seen her mom and her sister in the gallery? Mom is out here with some. So, this is the Columbus on Time Warner Cable. Just like through the line, no box or anything. So you get quite a few channels. What's his name, Ed? Have a good Swallow for food. And it's cool. Desi 28 on the deck.
Don't you discuss that anymore, Jack? Go Let's discover more than 30. Things in Atlanta that we've been doing. Just one. That's a little bit small. So that was the end of it. You. We just been talking about it. Talk. This is what channel on HD. So folks, this is on a, an older TV. This is the analog channels you'll get with Time Warner if you don't have an HD TV or one of their cable boxes. Especially important with our So there you have it, folks. So you get a few channels there with the analog. So Time Warner does give you some analog. So if you have a bulky TV, you'd want to probably stay with Time Warner because, wow, it's all digital. Stop it. 